My name is Josh Kuhn. I'm a professor of chemistry and biomolecular chemistry at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And my research is in the development and application of mass spectrometry to the analysis of biomolecules like proteins and metabolites. The Orbitrap Fusion has been transformative to my group's research in the area of proteomic analysis. One of the things that I'm most excited about has been the use of the fusion mass spectrometer to sequence the almost entire yeast proteome in just over one hour of analysis. That type of speed and depth of coverage that the fusion provided is really exciting and allows us to do high throughput comparisons of hundreds of different yeast strains uh, on a very rapid time scale. Application of that same single shot method uh, with the fusion uh, for, uh, on human proteome allowed us to get almost 6,000 proteins, which is more than we've ever been able to accomplish, but it's still uh, about half of the expressed human proteome. What's really exciting for me about the LUMO system is the improved sensitivity uh, that the system offers beyond the fusion. Another benefit of the improved sensitivity and quad pole isolation of the LUMO system is that it allows us to take high resolution MS2 scans using the Orbitrap. Uh, so the data quality of the MS2s is remarkably high on the system, regardless of precursor signal to noise. And the spectra were almost always of textbook quality or publication quality. The third improvement that's quite exciting about the LUMOS is the high capacity ETD capability. With this mode, you can isolate a much larger population of precursor to perform ETD on. So for intact protein analysis or large peptide analysis, you're going to see markedly reduced spectral acquisition times and higher quality spectra. And this is really going to open up the door to LC timeframe analysis of intact proteins which you could never do before effectively uh, on that time scale. The LUMOS is going to open up uh, several new possibilities. One is that the opportunity to work with smaller sample amounts, it's going to allow us a new avenue to go after large and intact protein analysis. It's going to offer us the ability to go after modifications uh, that were challenging just because they existed at low level. So I think we're going to see a whole new layer of PTM capabilities that um, this instrument is going to open up. The Orbitrap Fusion has been transformative for my group. The Orbitrap Fusion Lumos is building on that success by offering more sensitivity and more capability. And I really think that's going to take us to clinical samples at a much broader scale, much faster than I could have imagined even three months ago. So all of these advances, the speed, the improved sensitivity, is going to translate into our ability to go after high throughput applications with proteomic depth that's unprecedented and to really be able to take on types of studies that have only been the domain of genomic type analyses.